Today we jump into the topic of matrices and an introduction into matrix algebra. What a matrix is, it's basically a rectangular array of numbers. So I have a basic matrix laid out here and we name matrices by their rows and their columns. And each item within that matrix is called an element. So these things with subscripts that have A's on them are called elements. And you'll notice A11, A12. The first part of the subscript talks about the row and the second part, the column. So you'll notice 1, 1, first row, first column, 1, 2, first row, second column, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. As we move down, second row, first column, so on and so forth. All right. And we define their matrices by their rows and columns. So if I want to talk about a dimension, I name the rows first and the columns second. So in this case, rows go across. I have four rows by two columns. This has two rows by three columns. This has four rows by three columns. And by definition, two matrices are equal if they have the same dimensions and corresponding elements. Now, when it comes to adding and subtracting two matrices, you can only do so if they have the same dimension. And when adding or subtracting, you combine their corresponding elements. So in this case, this is a 2 by 3. And this is a 2 by 3. So I can add them. So now when I add them, I just take and add their corresponding elements. So in this case, first row, first column, I have 1 plus 2. First row, second column, 0 plus 4. 0 plus 1. 2 plus 5. 1 plus 0. 3 plus 6. And then I add all those up, and I get a new 3 by 2 of 3, 1, 1, 4, 7, 9, like so. And for matrices, basically, order doesn't affect any addition in matrices, nor does any grouping of addition affect any addition in our matrix operations. So now if I want to subtract, kind of the same as addition, except I subtract each corresponding element. So once again, I'll have 5 minus 2, 1 minus, negative 1 minus 0, 1 minus 4, negative 2 minus negative 2, 3 minus 1, 0 minus negative 1. And I combine those, I get 3, negative 1, negative 3, 0, 2, and 1. Pretty standard. Scalar multiplication. Now, this isn't the multiplication of two matrices. It's a multiplication of every term or element in the matrix by a singular number. So as you can see right here, if I take some quantity x and multiply it by this matrix, x gets distributed to each term. So in this case, I would have 4 times 0, 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 4, and basically go throughout the whole list. I'll do it once and never do it again. So you'll see here that the dimensions of this matrix stay the same. We're going to deal with multiplication of two matrices at a later time. So in this case, I have 0, 4, 8, 16, 20, 4, negative 8, 12, 44, and 12.
and you'll see once again dimensions stay the same. Started out as a five by two, we end as a five by two. So here's a case where I have to distribute and then subtract. What I'll choose to do is multiply by a negative two to everything and add. So basically I have 15, 0, 30, negative 18, negative 12, negative 33, 9, 24, 36. And to this, I'll take an add now because I'm going to distribute a negative 2 through. Get negative 4, negative 10, negative 10, 8, negative 22, 0, 0, 4, and 20. Then I add these up. Corresponding elements. I have 11, negative 10, 20. Negative 10, negative 34, negative 33, 9, 28, and 56. Couldn't be much simpler. Now, in this case, you'll notice I have a, well, let's distribute this first, if you will. Uh, negative 2, negative 11, 8, and 5. And this goes to 15, 132, negative 9, 9, 0, 6, negative 33, 15, and 24. Now in this case, they're asking me to add these two, so I have a 2 by 2 and a 3 by 3. Since they don't have equal dimension, there's no solution. Not equal dimensions. So I can't do it. So here's a case where I have two matrices given, and then they ask to combine the matrices in this way. So I want to take 5B first, which gets me 20, 0, negative 5, 30, and subtract that by negative 2a, I'm going to add, because I'm going to distribute a negative 2 through, so that's 18, negative 4, negative 6, 10. These dimensions are equal, so I go ahead and add, and I get 38, negative 11, negative 4, and 40. Pretty straightforward introduction, and we'll get a little bit more difficult with our matrices tomorrow.